is 6.03 on Tuesday, October 1st. It's 61 degrees now. Look for temps staying in the 60s with rain likely. The wet stuff is expected to taper off this afternoon. Good morning, I'm Michelle Bash. And I'm John Aaron. The top local story we're following this hour. For a third day, kids are being kept out of their classrooms at Naomi Brooks Elementary in Alexandria. WTOP's Dick Giuliano reports cleanup there continues after lead was found in some classrooms. Lead particles turned up in kindergarten and fourth grade classrooms in the main office suite and in the school's clinic. The lead was found during the school's window replacement project. The health department is recommending that students, teachers and staff get blood tests. And the school system is organizing a testing program at the school after it reopens. The Virginia Health Department will conduct a webinar Tuesday evening at 6.30 to provide families and staff the latest information. The school closed Friday and planned virtual classes before all schools close on Wednesday for the Jewish holiday Rosh Hashanah. Dick Iuliano, WTOP News. Southwest Virginia is feeling the impact of Helene. And now state leaders are asking President Biden to approve Virginia's request for what's called an expedited major disaster declaration. That's in order to get more federal help into areas that need it. Virginia officials call this the most significant disaster in the Commonwealth in over a decade. Expedited major disaster declarations are granted for catastrophes of unusual severity when field damage assessments are not feasible. A federal emergency declaration for Virginia has already been approved. The D.C. Emergency Rental Assistance Program is meant to help low-income residents to keep a roof over their heads when they fall on hard times. But landlords, especially those who offer affordable housing units, say pandemic-era changes to the program have renters prolonging eviction and have left landlords struggling to stay afloat. WTOP's Mike Marillo reports that has led to a call from landlords for D.C.'s council to act on emergency legislation that it will receive today. Changes to the program during the pandemic, according to Eric Jones with the Apartment Office Building Association of Metropolitan Washington, has allowed renters to get judges to delay their evictions, in some cases up to two years, as they apply for the help multiple times. The situation, he says, impacts everyone. You have people who are accumulating debt that they will never be able to pay back. You have people who are owning operating properties that they can't afford to keep up. The emergency bill by Council Chair Phil Mendelson will allow for a judge to proceed with evictions after one failed application for a renter. It will also make renters prove that they are low income. Without the change, Janine Lynn with the Affordable Housing Developer Enterprise Community Development says for the renters who pay on time, they can also pay the price if the property can't pay its bills. If it were to go into foreclosure, it's the residents that ultimately suffer the most. In the district, Mike Marillo, WTOP News. Starting today, service will begin to phase out on D.C. circulator buses, and it will completely shut down by the end of the year. Officials say you should check to see if your route is impacted before heading out. About 90 workers are expected to be laid off today. Several have already landed jobs with the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority, but they will lose their seniority and start at lower wages and different shifts. The union that represents the workers says it's been fighting to help them retain their current pay rate. A decision was made earlier this year to shut down the bus service over budget cuts. The only vice presidential debate of the 2024 election is happening tonight between Republican J.D. Vance and Democrat Tim Walz. So what could the impact be? WTOP's Nick Ionelli takes a look. The debate offers J.D. Vance and Tim Walz a fresh opportunity to introduce themselves, but they will likely spend a lot of their time playing the role of attack dog. It will be aggressive. Casey Myers is a Virginia Tech professor who specializes in political communication. They're surrogates for their candidates, and so you're going to see a lot of attacks both ways against Harris and Trump, and they're going to have to defend their top-of-ticket candidates' records and positions. Vice presidential debates typically don't carry that much weight, but with the polls showing the presidential race essentially tied... This can be consequential in a way that past debates have not been. Nick Ainelli, WTOP News. Coming up on WTOP in Money News, just how popular is Apple's new iPhone? Traffic and weather in 30 seconds. 